updated. Absolutely so. All right. So today we are uh, announcing that there is three additional deaths related, uh, related indirectly to the uh, to Maria. Okay. One of them uh, was because uh, the person was depressed and the person uh, could not handle the situation and took some medication that most likely would be the cause of the death. Okay. So based on the interview with the Nex of Kins, uh, we determined that, that that's what occurred. Therefore, it's an indirect cause of death, the hurricane. Okay. And that was in San Juan, you said? That was in San Juan. Okay. Second case is in Dorado. Uh, the person drowned. Uh, we found it on the 6th of October around the riverbed. And the reason why we, we were saying that he died within the event because of the autopsy revealed a lot of mud and a lot of uh, debris inside his body that would indicate that it happened during the, the time when the river uh, over, went over the, the right. Third, there is a person that uh, the house collapsed and as they were uh, cleaning the debris, they found the body. Do you expect so, uh, he, uh, he or she was, was crushed? Do you expect that number to continue rising? Uh, you know, what do you? It, it could be that there still might be some cases out there because all of this is validated as they, they come into the uh, medical examiner's office. So as we review the cases and as we and they do the interview with the uh, family members, that's how the, the determination is made whether it was related or not. Because there may be a situation, and again, we had some of them where the certificate reads cause of death, heart attack, which is valid, mm -hmm. that's exactly what happened. However, when the, the medical examiner starts talking to the family members, say, yeah, that's because he or she got a panic attack and mm -hmm. that caused a heart attack. So that's, Do you expect reason. to ultimately have the hundreds of I deaths? hope not, I sincerely hope not, but I'm not gonna you know, stipulate, I mean, just make any assumption of what we're gonna get or not. Sure, but that's what's been, you know, circulating, so... I don't care what circulates. I care about what the Institute certified me. Okay. And I, there's all kinds of rumors out there floating around. We don't deal with rumors, I deal with facts. Facts is when the, when the Institute, when the medical examiner say, this is it, this is it. That's good okay. for me. So you're working with the medical examiner and you're working with the registry, we're, right? We're trying to make sure that we don't miss anything. So, you know, we, what about hospitals? Are you working? Absolutely, directly? the hospital, sure. The hospital, yeah. So, yeah. what do they report to you? They report the, the, the bodies, the body count, okay. how many people in the morgue, and then they uh, the medical examiner visits the morgue. They, they do a lot of work. Okay, and then one final question: um, Do you have enough capacity? Because it had been said that you know you needed extra containers to hold bodies. So, this is this is thing. No. No and no and no. I don't care what they say about the we don't have capacity. But you brought I'm in done. the containers. Right? Yeah, but that was not it, it just a, a, that's a, that's a preventive measure. So because I don't know. So you don't expect to fill them. I, I can guarantee you. I can guarantee you that we're not going to fill them okay. because the capacity that I have is twentyfold what we should have known. Okay. So no, that's not going to happen. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. See.